Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty and I am in the toy section of my local Dollar Tree. A subscriber had asked me in a live if I would be willing to do a toy video about the things that were available at my store and I said of course I would love to. So we are only going to be showing toys today in this video. So if you have any little ones, this is definitely a video they can watch. Uh, or if you want to get some Christmas ideas, birthday ideas, grab bags for birthday parties, stocking stuffers, that kind of stuff, this is going to be a great video for that now of course all Dollar Trees do not have the exact same items but this will kind of give you an idea of what Dollar Tree carries especially if you've never been to a Dollar Tree store before and I know that seems crazy to some of us but there are people out there that have not been to Dollar Tree yet so this is a nice little shop with me video for them I'm just gonna kind of go around this aisle now I have one long aisle and it's two-sided it seems that one side is all girl stuff and some um, unisex toys mixed in and then one side is all for the boys they really have it organized really well it's just it's just so perfect to have one side one gender and the other side the other gender of course children can play with any toys but I'm saying it's nice that you know you have the separation if you're looking for Barbies they're not all mixed in so no matter what toy your child wants you kind of understand where in the aisle you're gonna be able to find it look it's so cute lots of great little gifts in this aisle I thought these were super cute with the play-doh and it has the little cutter right on top you can just organize it in the toy box really easily or the storage bin by just putting the little rollers back on top and that makes it really nice for travel too if you're going to someone's house and you want to put some toys in a little bag this would be a nice one to bring and don't <laughs> don't tell me I know people are like you don't bring play-doh to people's houses but if let's say my niece and nephew wanted to come over this would be nice to throw in the bag I don't mind them playing with it in my house so that's what I mean like you know just a little travel tour if you're going on vacation it's nice to be able to shove that in the bag and I wish that I had known about the Dollar Tree my daughter was growing up. All of these, I guess, imitation Barbies and stuff. This toy is super cute. I don't know about, it looks kind of cheaply made, so it might fall apart. But, like, the fake Barbies, I wish would have been around when my daughter, I wasted so much money on them, you know? And back then, you didn't really resell anything. You just gave everything to somebody you knew after you used it. Um, I love those little they light up if you hit them they light up they're super cute the doll furniture how inexpensive that stuff is really really expensive online because we couldn't buy that anywhere near us and then they can paint it themselves cute little dolls those would be perfect for the bathtub see I wish they we had all these right here <laughs> I don't think my daughter would have known the difference. Some kids definitely would, but I don't think my daughter would have been too disappointed. Still a little doll. Lots of fun stuff for Christmas time. These little games are for travel. Little mini etch a sketch. Etch -a -sketch. Let's see. I love all these little I have a thing for mini anything the little cars travel kit those are Pepe Le Pew that's what those dolls are called travel blocks I mean that's perfect for a diaper bag so we have a boys travel pack and a girls travel pack and of course I mean either can use either but it's nice that they um, Look at these brain teasers those are great for stocking stuffers and yes I always think ahead I don't like to wait till last minute I like to be able to enjoy the holiday relax not be in with the crowd so my mind is always thinking throughout the year things I can kind of accumulate to put in my Christmas stockpile and I'm just gonna scan over the puzzles we have a lot of puzzles in my store which is awesome just gonna scan over 
going to kind of step back for a second too and just kind of let you guys see the magnitude of the amount of puzzles we have. And in this section over here, we've got a bunch of the glow, like necklaces, bracelets, the glow sticks. Those are left over from summer, I think. Lots of little trucks and toys. Isn't my Dollar Tree so organized? I absolutely love it. They are so organized in this store. It's awesome. I've bought in so many of these little trucks and stuff for my nephew. They don't really... I mean, it's a good size for a dollar, but they don't really last, like, you know what I mean? But if you want little beach toys that are only going to last, like, one season, you could bring those, for sure. If your children aren't rough on their toys, they might last, but little boys, at least in my experience, have, you know, they're a little rough on their stuff. For, like projects for science for the kids as they get older in school this is a great section to look in I those things skeeve me out I'm a germaphobe with all those little nodules that can get dirty I mean I think you probably run them into the sink but no thank you what kind of reptile is that can you guys name what kind of reptile that is I have no idea Little robots. Lots of fun stuff for the kiddos. This is such a good deal. These little men, these little army men, military men. They could get a few, like 35 for a dollar. Can't beat it. And you know what, guys? The prices of just basic little toys at Walmart, Target are so expensive. You know? Not everybody has that all the time to be buying $40, $50 toys. So it's nice to treat your kids once in a while. Give them $5. They can get five items. I mean, that's just awesome. I see everyone haul these air horns and nobody knows how to use them. They're like the hardest thing from what I understand. Psychedelic to actually make work for some reason. So be prepared if you are going to buy one of those. So I'll just kind of zoom a little bit more around. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great day. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye.